Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Ray Schmidt. I'm uh, talking to you from our fly shop here at Frog Hollow. And uh, wanted to, uh, you know, give you a little boredom reliever from the, the lockdown uh, that we're currently in. So we're going to call this the lockdown lowdown. Some things that, uh, that you can do, you can see what I'm doing. I'm in my tying apron and time flies. But some things you can do uh, to help alleviate uh, anxiety and boredom. Uh, you know, first of all, go to our website and check out our website. We got lots of cool stuff there. Tons of videos, how to's, um, you know, goodies, that sort of stuff that you can kind of get yourself prepared for the upcoming season. And that's, that's basically what I wanted to say. Uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a good time to get your tackle ready. So get out your fly rods, clean them up, uh, you know, put a little coat of uh, pledge on them to wax them up. It does wonders for the finish and it repels water like crazy. But clean and scrub your cork, uh, you know, if your reel seat's sticky, clean that and, you know, put a, a touch of lube on it. The other thing is inspect the rod really good. If there's any bruises or any uh, white spots on the rod that you know, that might mean a split shot has hit it or a hook point. Uh, it's a vulnerable spot. Fly reels do the same. Uh, you know, take the spool off, get all the junk out of them. Uh, any dirt, you can do that with, uh, you know, cotton uh, swab. A uh, little bit of lubricant on there. It doesn't take much. Don't over lube your reel. But inspect it to make sure it's in good running order, make sure the drag's running good. Fly lines, horse of a different color, uh, fly lines need to be cleaned often. I clean mine very often, sometimes twice a day when I'm fishing streamers. So get the fly line off from there uh, and you know clean it up with some Dawn dish washing detergent and some warm water and then rinse it very good with with fresh clean water and then put the lubricant on it of your choice you know uh, I, I think one of the better ones out there is the scientific anglers fly line cleaner and conditioner uh, but you know your choice there's a bunch of them out there the other thing is waders uh, you know, you can do a hole inspection on your waders really easy if you have isopropyl alcohol. You know, that's one of the things that are in short supply right now. But if you have it, uh, put it in a sprinter spray bottle and turn the waders inside out. Spray one leg at a time. Turn it back right side out. If there's any black spots that weren't there before, that's a leak. So you can fix those really easy, really quick with that kind of inspection. Same thing with rain gear. Uh, rain gear with these, uh, you know, these, these micro uh, fabrics in them that stop uh, water from going through the fabric allows the vapors to go out. So isopropyl alcohol uh, shows up uh, as a black spot on the exterior of the fabric. You know, and then finally, you know, it's fly inventory time. It's time for you to take a look at your flies. If there's any rusty flies in there, even a little bit of rust, throw them away. It weakens the, the high carbon steels very quickly and just toss them away and make a list and either start tying like I am and so many people are or make a list and, uh, you know, go to your favorite uh, fly shop. They're not open your favorite fly shop with a website, you know, that might be us. And then lastly, uh, there's a ton of information on Marshall Cutchen's uh, website called midcurrent.com. Mid Marshall's a great friend of mine, uh, has been for a long time. He absolutely has the most informative fly fishing website in the industry. So, you know, this is not a time to stick out your bottom lip. Uh, Kate says I don't pout very well anyway. But uh, this is a time to get your stuff ready for the upcoming season. You know, uh, probably by the end of April, we're going to be rocking and rolling and, and uh, out there fishing and having a great time. And we'll have put all this behind us. So 
Anyway, uh, that's the lowdown on the lockdown here in Frog Hollow. Have a great day. See you later.